what has training been like for Dancing on Ice? Oh, it's been intense. Uh, every day has been a learning experience. It's It's been crazy. There's sometimes where Annette will show me a move and I'm like, are you okay? Like, <laughs> literally, this is what my hands do. I'm like, ha ha. <laughs> And they're like, no, it's okay, we'll break it down, we'll do it a little bit by little bit, and we'll get there. And literally, that's what we've done, you know? What well, has it been like training with Ricky? I can imagine, obviously, you've been training for so many months now. I can imagine a lovely friendship has formed. Yes, we are good friends now, and yeah. I really like... Yeah, yeah. yeah. We are? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, of course, yeah. come on. Don't say something else. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and... I'm very happy to work with Ricky and I'm, yeah, he's working very hard. He didn't miss one session, no. um, he's motivated and I'm proud of him how he's getting so far. Yeah, and we look after each other. Not only did I look after your dog over <laughs> Christmas, but we look after each other every single day. Amazing, I love that. And so is there anything you could tease about your first dance that viewers are going to see? Yeah, it's going to be loads of fun loads of flavor and we're definitely going to get the crowd up and going you know so it's going to be a high energy routine and um, i'm sure they're going to love it fingers crossed anyway <laughs> absolutely and when it came to training was there anything that surprised you maybe where you thought oh that should match quite good on the ice or was it just a complete learning curve it, it's all been a learning curve every day's been a learning curve but i was really surprised about when i started doing like going backwards and I felt more comfortable going backwards than I did going forwards so every time she's like okay backward crossover I'm like yes okay <laughs> and every other day she's like you know something forwards I'm like oh, okay come on and let's go so yeah it's, it's been it's just a surprising element I never thought that I would be able to go forwards let alone backwards so um, like literally every day is just a new surprise and it's, you, you get a buzz from it every single day have you got any fears when it comes to your first performance, people, the judges, the live audience, or are you yeah. just ready to be like, no, I'm just going to smash it? Not, you not think about them? Or? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm not. I'm not really going to think about the judges or so much like the live aspect of this show. But um, it's, it's definitely worrying going out there and doing a live performance in front of the nation and in front of a, you know, this, this audience that's going to be in here. So there's definitely nerves. And, you know, we've got a couple of lifts as well. So... <laughs> that's a challenge in itself so you just got to kind of trust trust each other and and just go out there and put all that training to good use now it's time to go to work absolutely and of course obviously you're an eastenders icon to many have any people who from eastenders who've been on the show before given you advice or just any friends that's been on the show before yeah so uh sam matt lapinskas and then i've got a friend who done celebs on ice as well anthony costa which was just like he just sent me a 30 second voice note and he was just like rick make sure you bend your knees and when you <laughs> And when you bend your knees, bend them some more. And when you think that you're not bending your knees, make sure you bend your knees. And literally, he even was like, hashtag BYK. Do you know what I mean? It was like, bend your knees. You know, and, and literally, that's all I've heard every single day. <laughs> Show that you're looking forward to seeing their dances? Yeah, I mean, a, a lot of them are Amazing. fantastic. So, you know, Rhino and Amani, they're fantastic. Miles and Vanessa, are fa Greg and Vanessa yeah. are fantastic. You know, a lot of, there's a high level this year. Mm -hmm. The competition is going to be rife this year. So, um, but we're all cheering each other on and we're all supporting each other and we're all hoping for the best. You know, everyone's worked so hard that nobody wants to go home on, on, on week one. It did, it did happen off screen and this is what the, the, the fans keep telling me as well. Um, the thing is with EastEnders, you know anything can happen. Whether you die on screen or off screen, <laughs> th th there's been returns, right? But um, I've got a lot of love for EastEnders. I've got a lot of friends and family that are still there. I call them my family because you share a lot there. You, you really build a strong bond with the people that you work with there. And, you know, EastEnders are on such a high at the moment as well. They've had a year full of great... Uh, storylines. Christmas was fantastic. So if they ever needed fat, we're back in a square. All they got to do is give me a call. Absolutely love that. E20 rejuvenation once again. Oh my gosh, E20, you took it back. You took it <laughs> way sure. back. Yeah, we'll, we'll have to get Mercy and Jar Jar and Leon back as well. Do you know what I mean? And no, nah, it was a beautiful time, man. It was an absolutely beautiful time.